So here's our question for today, 47 plus 24. Now you will, you will know that this is the tens and these are the ones. So 47 is four tens and seven ones and 24 is two tens and four ones. I've put out the four sevens already. I'm using my special magnetic place value blocks or base 10 blocks. They're my seven ones. So you can see that shows 47. Let me put out some more blocks here. So there's two tens for the 20 and four for the four ones. So I'm going to remove those so they're not in the way. Okay. So here's our 47, here's our 24. Notice I've put these out so that these are at the top. The tens are always on the left hand side. There's the 47, there's the 24. So you can see it's very similar to the way we write the question now. So where do we start? I'm sure your teacher has told you we always start with the ones when we're doing a written process like this. That's the way we do it. We always start with the ones. So let's put all the ones together. There's four and seven and we just push them all together like that. How many is that? Now if you're using base 10 blocks, I don't want you to count the blocks. It's important that you can do this without counting on your fingers or counting blocks or counters or something like that. But you think about your number fact. So seven plus four is how much? You probably know seven plus three is equal to 10. So seven plus four is 11. So this is 11 here and we can count to make sure. The question we have to ask ourselves is, is that enough to make a group of 10? And of course it is because it's 11. So if I push these into a line, if I put 10 of them like that, you can see that that's the same as that. So I have 10 here plus another one. And I'm going to trade those for a 10. When we write that down on the board or on your uh, notebook, we do it this way. 7 and 4 is 11. That makes a 10 and 1. So we put the 1, 1 there. And then we put the 110 in the tens place. Now your teacher will tell you where he or she likes you to write it. Many teachers put it at the top. Some people put it at the bottom. There may even be other places. Somewhere you're going to write the 10. I'm going to put mine down the bottom here like that. So that's our 11. Here's our 11 here. I'm not quite sure where to put it, but there's my 11. So now all we have to do is add together the tens Four tens plus two tens plus one ten. Four and two, of course, is six. And one more makes seven. And over here we can see four and two is here. That makes six and one is seven. And so the blocks show us the answer just as we've written over here, 71. All right. I'm going to show you a slightly more difficult example because sometimes we have bigger numbers and we go over a hundred. So this is a more advanced question. So let me start with what shall we do here? 64 plus 53. So I'm gonna have to get some more blocks out. All right. So you can see the tens and the ones just as we have on the written version. Four plus three, that's a number fact. You probably know double three. Double three is six. Four plus three must be one more. That's seven. So we can push all these together and that makes seven. All right, so we can see those. Now we'll add together all these tens. And this time, because this is a more, um, this is a more advanced question because the numbers are bigger. Six plus five is how much? You know, again, double five is 10. Six and five must be one more than that. So it must be 11. So if we have 11 tens, the question we have to ask is, is that enough to make a hundred? And of course it is, because you will know, if I can find a hundred in my box, here we go. A hundred like this is made of 10 tens and we have 11 tens. So I'm gonna take 10 of these off, these magnetic ones, and there's my hundred and I have one more. So when we write this down, six and five is 11, that makes 110 and 100. And then I'll move the seven back here. And there's our answer. So you can see the answer 117.